Hi there, welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is emotional maturity can make or break a potential relationship. Most of us know what being emotionally unavailable means, but do you really understand what it means to be together with all of your emotions and understand how important it is to have that mature quality that you've learned along the way? It's not necessarily a given that you're going to be emotionally intact all the time. Life is a learning curve and we find our way along by making a few mistakes, making some bad choices, making some great choices. The trick to bettering yourself is to understand the importance of how you evolve in an in a emotional way. When you're in a relationship with somebody and you're, you feel that you just don't communicate or you feel that you're afraid to say something to your partner, you're not sure how to say something to your partner, you're afraid to be vulnerable, this is showing a little bit more unavailability in the emotional department. People who are emotionally mature, they're aware of their emotions. They're aware of their daily thoughts, their feelings, and they're able to express this. They're great communicators and they're fabulous to be in a partnership with. The only problem is if it's not reciprocated within both of you in a relationship, it can become very lopsided and feel very unbalanced. And when this happens, one of the partners will start to lose interest. And that's probably the person who's done their homework to get to where they are emotionally. It's really important to grow as a person. And the way you do this, the way you evolve and become better is by owning stuff that maybe didn't work out for you. Maybe some of the choices that you made. Holding on to a sadness or pain or a breakup or something because you're in denial of the fact that you don't know how to emotionally connect with somebody, that's when you get stuck in a place of heartbreak all the time because you don't feel whole you feel like something's missing and something is missing you need to be able to express yourself all the time and when a relationship has a great foundation it's because two people in that partnership care enough to emotionally communicate with each other they understand the importance of being able to connect in all areas not just the bedroom not just as a as a you know, buddy or friendship. You want to have the whole connection with somebody. That's what makes relationships stand the test of time. It's the people who get it that it takes work. It's not just an easy situation that just keeps going smoothly. We all have different times in our lives where we deal with different emotions. We deal with maybe a job loss. We deal with death. We deal with maybe friendships that have changed. These things all affect us and how we deal with everyday life. And if we don't sit down and really pay attention to what's going on within us, we will stay stuck and we don't grow. And if you're in a partnership, you want to grow together. That's why so many relationships start fizzling out after five, 10 years, because people have stopped putting in the energy and the time to keep the communication lines open. When you're emotionally secure and mature, you don't blame people for other things. You take ownership. You get it that maybe you played a part in something that wasn't great. So you are li looking at that emotional side of yourself and asking yourself questions. Why, why did I do that? How can I make this better? I'm sorry I did that. You're not sitting there pointing the finger at other people all the time. You point it at yourself once in a while because you're human and you're finding your way just like everybody else is. But owning things, addressing things, acknowledging all the little stuff that happens in a relationship is what keeps you close. Having an ma emotionally mature partner is so much fun to be around because there's, there's no bullshit, there's no games. They're just who they are, they're real. You're getting the real version of who, who you're with. And same goes for dating. If you're talking to somebody who has a maturity about them, that they're not afraid to express themselves, 
This is so refreshing and this is what's missing in so many dating situations. People are becoming very surface. They're not delving into getting to know people better. And that's why a lot of relationships aren't happening and people are lonely because no one's taking the time to expand, to be better of who they are first. And then when you go out into the dating arena and you meet somebody who's like-minded or who really appreciates the work you've done on yourself, this makes for great conversations. And then you start getting to the second, third, fourth dates, and then maybe a relationship. But if you don't do the work on yourself to be an emotionally mature person, you will stay in a place where you're not really getting to where you should be. We all mature at different times, but the faster you learn those lessons that you're supposed to learn is when you will be able to meet your special person, be able to be better in your job, be a better friend, be a better parent, all those things. This is why it's so important to get to this level. Don't hide behind your emotions. Don't become emotionally unavailable because it's not going to work for you long term. What are you getting out of that? You're actually shortchanging your happiness this way. Ultimately, it's your choice on how you move forward in your life. We all have hardship. We all have things that we have to deal with that aren't always pleasant. And sometimes our emotions can get the best of us. We can stay stuck in a place and not come out of it for a while. And that's okay. Honor your grieving period. Honor some of these mistakes. Honor some of these trials and tribulations of life. But better yourself at the end of the day each time you have to deal with them. Because if you do meet a, an emotionally mature person, I can bet you that they've probably had a few things of hardship to deal with. As I said earlier, it's not always a gift that everybody just naturally has. It's an, an earned situation and it's very appreciated when you get there. And when you are looking back on where you've come from, you get the difference. You understand how important it is to keep growing. So how do you become more emotionally mature? I mean, yeah, it's easy to talk about when you're already there, but how do you get there? Well, the first thing is you want to be there. You're watching this video, so you're looking for something to help you get there. The first thing is to write down situations that happen. What triggers you? What gets you pissed off? What gets you angry? What makes you shut down? What makes you not want to talk to somebody and maybe become a little more introverted? What got you to this place? Think of all these things that maybe transpired that put you here because those things can be corrected once you figure out what it is. Sometimes we just don't know what's changed us and what's shut us down emotionally. And that's okay. Sometimes it happened when we were really young and we just don't know. We don't get it until we start delving into it. Be aware of who you're surrounding yourself with. Think about the top five people you hang out with all the time. What are they like? Are they adding to your life? Are they taking away from your life? Is there negativity when you're with them? Or is there lots of positive things that happen? You always want to be around people that bring you out, that make you be your best. And you want to be around people who are positive all the time. Because if there's a lot of negative conversations going on, eventually it sticks and it becomes a part of you as well. Because you're putting yourself in these situations with these people who are maybe emotionally unavailable or maybe just emotionally damaged or maybe they're just angry for whatever reason. So pay close attention to those things and surround yourself with people that make you laugh, make you happy, make you want to be a better person. And stop judging people. Stop making assumptions about other people. This can often happen when you're jealous or envious of people and what's going on in their life and maybe what's not happening in your life. This is the time to get a purpose, to get something that makes you feel good. Sometimes emotional unavailability is just because we're not comfortable with who we are because we haven't done the things we want to do. We haven't made things happen for us. We seem to be sort of on a flat treadmill plane of life rather than going up and up and up and up. So find a purpose, find something that makes you tick. And this is why I wanted to do this video today to just let you know that everybody can get there. 
it, it's not an overnight success story, but you can get there when you put the energy in and you really understand the importance of maybe what's missing in your life. Having healthy boundaries and being grateful for the things you do have also helps you get there because you're being appreciative. You're not looking at all the negative things of maybe what you don't have in your life. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber C today. Please leave any comments. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you could do so. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Bye-bye.